Hey guys, what's up? It's Jaeger262 back with a video. I just wanted to say a quick thank you for the support on the channel, for my subscribers, for the likes, for just helping me grow, albeit slowly. And the reason I say thank you is because these Armored Warfare videos have now become my most popular, and so I'm going to keep trying to do any kind of videos, vehicle showcases, just gameplay, content, anything. Now, I was going to make videos about Chinese MBTs actually doing PvP gameplay. And, by the way, the Type 96A at Tier 7 is terrible. But, as you can see from the queue time, which I left, I went, made dinner, ate dinner, came back, and I forgot that I, I one, had Armored Warfare running, and two, that I was, has in queue. But yeah, it's been almost 50 minutes now that I've been in queue, so I don't think... I don't think we're gonna have any PvP footage for you guys, and I apologize. But um, you could do a video just playing missions in Chinese MBTs, or like on the screen right now is the ST1, because I was trying to explain last time. This is the vehicle I'm using to grind out the MBT line. And while it plays a lot like the Wilk, which is at tier 10 of this tech tree, you can't go directly to the Wilk. You have to go through the tier 9s, even though it doesn't really make sense for the ST1 to go through a main battle tank or artillery or even the light tank. It doesn't play like any of those. I don't know why Armored Warfare set it up that way, but they did. And so because of that, I'm just using it to get to the Type 99A. I was going to do some gameplay of that. And... You know, keep it simple. I might play other tanks. It depends. I just first and foremost wanted to just thank everybody. It's it means a lot to me that you guys are watching these videos, and I hope to keep making them. I would really love if you guys would send me you know any kind of vehicles you want to see reviewed or any questions, comments. You know, it's. It's a good game. It's fun. I've only been active on it really for a year, and I've played and collected well over a hundred armored vehicles. So I mean, it's crazy fast how you can rank up in this game. It's crazy fast how you can play, and because of that, I missed a lot of tanks. Where I only played tanks for a few days, or maybe not at all. Just free XP'd it, and because of that. I haven't played as many tanks as I would like to, and I would love to review some of the weirder tanks or some of the different tanks that people have questions on out there. Uh, if you're just starting the game and you're like, I, how do I get from you know tier three to tier ten in eleven months? You know, uh, I can help you with that. And well, I can't actually help you with that. The big secret is that Armored Warfare is really great at throwing events play events, which is it. play marathons, play special events, play any of the story modes a lot, just grind. But yeah, any questions, any reviews, I will review any tank that I can get to, I'll buy it if I have to, I may free XP some of them if it's like a tank I really wanted and people want to see reviewed. Just throw it in the comments and I'll do a vehicle showcase on it or I'll just do gameplay. Um, I have no problem skipping all the, like, the technical part in the front and just doing whatever. The only things I won't review if I don't own them are premium vehicles. If you want to send me one to do, which is you know, up to you, <laughs> I don't know why you would, but if you do, maybe. But yeah, I mean, anything. Any vehicles, any questions, just let me know. I love doing this, I love this game, and... I appreciate the support. And so without that, further ado, this is kind of sappy, <laughs> um, let's get into some gameplay. Now I really don't know if they fixed this yet or not. We've had two micro updates this week, and so far the inverted steering is not fixed. So. Maybe they fix this card system. Maybe it's still random. If it is, cool. You know, it's like you, know, you get some mystery there. It's not. Oh wow! All right, albatross. Nice. So 
this plays like any other TD, uh, with the exception of, you know, obviously ATGM ones or like things like the Sprut Tracked ATV um, TDs, which we have so few in the game. It's not really important to mention, but it's gonna play like a Centauro or the Wilk, more closer to the Wilk than the Centauro, but just. It's a wheeled edge right, that's all you gotta know. It's got decent pen, it's got okay damage. It's kinda on the low side for something like a tier 8, but the rate of fire is only 4.3 seconds. And it gets Hesh, which doesn't seem like it's a great ammo type to have at this tier really, but I'm trying to think of a way to spin it well because I don't use Hesh all that much. Obviously, I only have the 10 rounds. It is good against AFVs, and you are, I think it's 25% more likely to get a fire started that way. And my team right off is just skipping the objective, so... Cool. Why they're going this way, and what they're doing... I know not. I have no idea what their end game is here. But that's not my job to know. It's my job to provide support. Yeah, okay, these MBTs are ridiculous. I have no idea what they're doing. I'm just gonna go support the um, Terminator who's actually, you know, playing the game like a normal person. Nope, psych. <laughs> Changing my mind. There's no blood in the water. Oh, that's another thing I forgot. I don't know. I've never played this in Taro, which is what I was just saying. I haven't played a lot of vehicles. I stick to the lines that I like and go all the way to tier 10, and that's it. But I've never played this in Taro, so I have no idea if it has good depression or what it's like. But this obviously has none because you have to shoot over this big hull. He's using the same exact hull, which feels the same and operates the same as the ZBL-08, if you played that. I haven't played it since they made it tier 6, but I loved it at tier 7, even though a lot of people didn't. So if you like that kind of maneuverability, or if you're used to it by playing that vehicle, then this will be, you know, far for the course. Putting a shot into... Uh, I didn't think it was going to pen the side, right? This is what I mean, it's got good pen. I'm only doing about 500 damage, but I'm penning the side of a challenger that's angled. So, it's pretty good. Oh, he was already dead. I do have to watch out for your ammo, though, because that rate of fire is pretty high. I mean, it's not like, you know... You're gonna run out of all 40 rounds, but in high tier hardcore PvP where they just keep throwing bots at you before you can complete objectives, it's possible. I've run out of ammo before. And I don't use those PvE rebuild kits. Just because, I mean, I've heard a lot of people say it's worth it, but it's like $25,000 a profit just for some ammo or, you know, coming back from the dead. I, I don't know. You play how you want to play. <laughs> I'm not trying to like disparage anybody who uses them. I just don't. So once I run out of ammo, the reason I'm saying that is because once I run out of ammo, that's it. I'm out. So I'll try not to hear, but I'm already down to 28 rounds, and I've only done 4,200 damage. So that would be my only downside to this tank is that while it has good DPM overall, keeping you know actually doing a lot of damage is a little bit tricky. Yeah, missed. See, we're not... The team's just getting bogged down and killing all these bots out here. And we have 9 minutes left, so it's not like we're gonna lose already. But... This is not ideal. To just be sitting here sniping and wasting this ammo. I mean, we could be trying to take the objective. So, I'm just gonna push forward, which is... Oh, no, the Lep the the Merkava. I don't know why I said Leopard. The Merkava's going. Alright, so I'm going to try to meet them there. Just using the most direct route ability to do so. 
I am one mobile vehicle. They're jamming our communications with the carrier. Oh, Jesus. Take over the communications building immediately. I should be using Hesh on these guys, but... No, he's not gonna do it. Well, that was a waste of a shot. I don't know why I did that. Oh wow, while <laughs> I was just fighting one tank, my team shut down this building, so good news all around. So for all the complaining I was doing, these MBTs are on my team right now, super capable. <laughs> uh, I just thought it was going to be like another lemming team, but just kind of like went all the way around trying to get as many kills as possible. But this is high tier, so I should have... I should have trusted them enough to know they wouldn't do that. Didn't mean to talk bad about anybody here, but... Oh well. It is what it is. I mean, I'm not the best player. Sometimes I do stupid shit. I play like a Muppet, so I'm not gonna like just pretend that they still don't do that. But at least in this exact scenario, they weren't being dicks. Alright, I'm spotted, but hopefully I'm not... Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. See what I mean? That was stupid. <laughs> that was stupid. P pinning this thing against a missile boat like the T-15? Dumb. It's just plain old fashioned stupid. Awesome. I can't tell if we hit him or not. Penetrated. Okay, got him. I try. Nope. D15s are crazy hard to penetrate, and I mean, rightly so, you know. They are Russia's newest APC or IFV, really. It's not a class that exists here, but you know, it's what the Rosomach and the Bradley are you know, IFVs. I can't hit him, or I can't penetrate him anyway. Or the T-15, so I'm just wasting time. I'm not doing too bad. Identify. In terms of damage. Good spotting on this vehicle, I guess. I didn't really look at any of the stats. This isn't a showcase. It's just, just going to be me playing games, so I have no idea. I didn't... Alright, let's see if I can get up there without him getting noted. Without him noticing me. So far, so good. All right, now the jig is up. Nice. No damage done to me, so I'm having a good game. Like regardless of how much damage I'm dealing, this is pretty okay. And right now the Asgard is looking right at me, and of course it's the unmanned turret version. So he can just shred me if he wanted to. He's not even firing. What, <laughs> what was with that bot? You sleep at the switch. And I can hit him, but I can't penetrate him because I don't have that depression. That is hilarious. Yeah, the Type 99A2 is going to be pretty hard to... Oh, while well, we're all in this cap. All right, let's just let's just obliterate him. Oh, we actually still have to cap it. That's true. Hmm. I like the look of that leopard. Nice camouflage. Not really something that matters, but whatever. Now what else are you gonna do? Play the game? Pfft, nah, I gotta look at the camouflage. Other players' tanks. It's like <laughs> half of armored warfare, or at least it is for me. Like that as a joke, it really is. I love the camouflage options. Like before I say anything that sounds like I don't, I absolutely do. Love collecting camo of all kinds. All right, so let's just put ourselves like right out there. 
Cause fuck it. I'm feeling pretty bold right now. Might be a little unwarranted, to be honest. I didn't really do anything this game. Ooh. At least he can't spot me. I can't see him. Load Sabo. Loading Sabo. I really hope that spread doesn't see me. That's one of the meanest TDs right now in the game. It absolutely obliterates. Oh no, they killed our Leo. Oh. I feel like a bad teammate now. I mean, I don't know if I could have stopped it. I wasn't I just feel bad because I wasn't paying attention. I had no idea they took him out. Alright, well we set him on fire, so that's always fun. The T90. Nice, we actually got through that armor. Right. See, it's not a bad tank destroyer. I mean, we're already up to about 14,000 damage. Oh, and I ran out of ammo. That's what I was trying to tell you. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> Kids, learn from my mistakes. Be better than I ever was. Oh, wow. I literally be better than I ever was. I somehow didn't realize that. They were capping the second circle. Yeah, because I ran out of ammo, because I wasn't paying attention, I can't really penetrate a lot of these vehicles. Wow, I was wrong. I'm doing just fine. Penetrating. So yeah, it's not like a terrible round to use. I have this predisposition of using it from like the low tiers. But as you can see, this game is not yet won. We have about 24 seconds left. And... I'm gonna run out of ammo. Probably. I won't. Damn. Come on, can I get a kill in the last few seconds? Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Nope. Hey, but not a bad game. And that's why I like the ST1 a lot more than any of the Chinese MBTs. It's just not only more refreshing to play, it's faster, it's fun. But it just gets a lot of it gets a lot of damage, which hopefully will get me a lot of experience, but we'll see. We will see. Yeah, it's eight thousand experience in last times two, hundred and twenty seven thousand credits and a shooter medal. 17,000 damage. Ooh, wow. I didn't know I did that much. 17,000 damage dealt. Almost 18,000. So that puts us third place for experience and second place for damage next to the Merkava. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. That's an average game, I'm sure, for this vehicle in the right hands, but that was good for me. Don't mind if I take that. And now, let's see what other... What are the missions? I'm going to do the Type 96A. Now, in the I had recorded a video. There was no sound, so I played right before PvP went away today. If I went away, I just mean before the Russians went to bed. Um, I played about three or four games in the Type 96A, and it was just not good. I absolutely hate that ve this vehicle. I don't think it performs... Well, we'll see how it does in PvE. Obviously, I'm pretty sure it's going to do great because it's just fighting bots. And in the comparison I did, it has the same hull armor and, and all-around armor protection at the front as an M1A1 Abrams. Which, playing it, I disagree with, but apparently it does. So if you angle it right, it's you know you can't get penetrated. It also has the best penetration of all the major tier 7 MBTs, excluding the Leopard, I believe. Which, again, crazy, because as you'll see, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting to get a better mission than Erberus. But you'll see, this thing doesn't really pen a lot of MBTs. Or anything. It bounces a lot. It's bouncing and just being otherwise 
obnoxiously bad. All right, I'll take quarterback. Some sniping action. But yeah, um, this is pretty. This is gonna be a pretty slow video because <laughs> a lot of people play PVE. Obviously, it's the major game mode. It's great for grinding. It's great for learning. It's great for just wasting time. But since the server merge, when we've gotten more full games, I've been playing a lot more PvP, and while I don't like it, I enjoy it more. There's just more of an edge. There's more of that random unpredictability that makes it interesting. And so while I underperform in random battles, and in global operations I do just I love global operations, my favorite mode. Uh... I still think they're just more interesting, so that's why I try to do more PvP gameplay, give you guys something a little bit different, and I might just do some PvP gameplay whenever the server goes back up, it'll probably go back up 2 a.m. Eastern time. Yeah, that's about right, yeah, 2 to 3 a.m. If I'm awake then, I will add those games to this roster of you know, just Chinese vehicles for this month. Um, and I'll try to do some global operations stuff because, again, that's my favorite mode, and I think it gives you a better perspective. It's like a good mix of the two modes, where it give you know it gives you more room to move around and strategize and flank than just straight up random battles do. But we'll see. And we'll see how this performs here. I'm just going to do... Well, I don't want to compete with the Ramka, but... I'm going to take it to the E3 area. Or... E, yeah. Or D3 area. Right... Oh, where's my... Right here. And just snipe down. That's pretty much the only way I play quarterback, because that's just... Easy. I don't mean to be that guy, but like... It's easy money. Oh my god, they're gonna control oil, oil prices support. for the entire Incoming region. Hostiles. Thank god we're liberating the oil. I didn't join this mercenary group to not liberate oil. I'm no idiot. Uh, but like I was saying the other day, I'm gonna snipe and see, I'm gonna show you guys how good and how bad it can be. Because again, long aim time, a little bit bigger dispersion. But overall, because it is armored warfare, good accuracy. The only thing is, of course, because it's a Chinese MBT which follows the same school as other Eastern MBTs, like the T-72 series. It's, uh, no... Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Ah, hey, I guess they were right. I guess the... I guess the game with the facts was right. That's this pretty good armor in the front here. But yeah, Armored Warfare, the gun handling in this game is one of the best. I wish other games would follow suit and just do this kind of gun handling. Yes, in PvP I miss more, it doesn't pen a lot, but when you're sniping and you're static against bots, which is why I wanted to do this mission, you can see it's sniping just fine, it has no problem. The only problem would be no gun depression, so I can't really hug this ridge line and play. But I've been perma spotted now for about 30 seconds, and none of the enemies over here have fired on me. So, don't really need to hug that ridge line or play conservatively. Which is another reason I think a lot of people play PvE. You can just kind of do whatever you want. I have no idea what's spotting me, to be completely honest. Like, none. Maybe it's the Challenger Lieutenant? I, I doubt it. Wow, I didn't think that shot was going to go through. Oh yeah, and here you'll see how the 9 second reload time kind of hurt this DPM a little bit. Oh, I knew it wasn't going to go in. Lucky shot. Waiting for people to spot, even though I... I technically should be doing that. I should be doing the spotting. 
Oh wow. Oh god, they're gonna kill this T90. It's time for me to make an executive decision. Which is the flank. I don't think this T90 is going to be able to survive this full frontal assault. <laughs> full frontal assault? Hilarious. Not really. It's kind of stupid. Ah, shit. Again with the hitting rocks. I'm very good at that. So if you want to learn tips, like I was saying earlier, if you have any questions, tips you want to learn from me, who's a master, I got some great skills in here. And one of those great skills, of course, is hitting rocks. I can teach you all about that. I can teach you how to hit a rock. Easy peasy. No problem. <coughs> you want to hit rocks? I got you covered. Also, I kind of see why that T90 kind of yoloed it. You're a rebuild kit. I'm trying not to get spotted, but this this is a good position to be in. Look at this. this hitting this T90 doesn't. They won't look at me as long as I got something in front of them to shoot at, so. I'm just gonna steal some damage from my team. Nope! What did I hit? Oh, I hit. Okay. Well, hey, I'll take it. I don't know how much damage I did, because it's a blind fire, technically. You know what I just realized? I'm not shooting heat, which is, again, why I'm penetrating, which is nice. It's like. I should be shooting heat to maximize my damage output. Even just a little bit. Come on, get out of the way, other T90. Carcass. I'm sorry, that's a starship carcass. Whatever it is, I don't care. Yeah. I'm gonna sling this shot right in. Oh wow, oh my god, we did it. I'm so, I'm so proud of myself. I really didn't think this Chinese main battle tank was gonna make that shot. I still can't believe I haven't been spotted. That's what's blowing my mind. I mean, this thing's camel reading isn't all that great. But, yeah, I guess from this little position... You know, I've been spotted in, like, a, a Viesel up here. And I got spotted. I don't know how this <laughs> giant Chinese main battle tank is completely fine not getting spotted. Uh, now I get spotted. Oh, God! Somebody, a swing fire hit me. Yeah, this thing's not gonna block any ATGMs of any maker model. <laughs> Many maker model, you know, you got an ATGM? What year is it? Doesn't matter. It's gonna penetrate the Chinese main battle. Awesome. Alright, spot this. What is that? What was that? I shared it. Nope, there's a swing fire. God damn you. <laughs> like, my for my most hated video. This is one of the worst vehicles to go up against, even for MBTs. Okay, so yeah, um, as far as environmental collision goes, <coughs> to completely derail a game and just <laughs> get you to miss out on even like the most simple kills, just come to me. Um, Platoon, hit me up in the game, Jaeger 262, you'll see it. I'll be there, teaching you how to hit shit with your tank for no reason and so um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about oh we did the lowest amount of damage even with having no opposition and just knocking shells into I mean I don't think we missed a single shot except for the one that we hit into the starship and still, it's, it's going to be rough. It's going to be like the Abrams, which is a really great vehicle. One of my favorites, but you're just going to not do as much damage as your teammates because you're not shooting as fast. Now, I've learned to counter that in the Abrams pretty well just by, you know, getting to an advantageous position, which is what I tried to do here, but wasn't enough. Bottom of the team in both categories kind of sucks and that's what I mean it's like even a really good game where it's only hit twice I mean just a really great game it still just isn't going to perform well I don't enjoy the type 96 A it's the same thing as the other video and well I wouldn't it's not good just the tier 7 type 96 A 
but I'm going to wait to record more PvP gameplay for this video. If you guys want to see, and I'll probably touch on this with the PvP gameplay anyway, but I'm just going to keep repeating it to this video. Any of the other Chinese main battle tanks, or to see a whole tech tree showcase or something, let me know. Let me know, or any vehicles. I will play just about anything and everything. I love it. And stay tuned for some PvP gameplay, if I can get it, so you can see me once again just be a Muppet. I mean, I'm really bad at this tank, I guess. I mean, that's the thing I like to do, don't be me, but I will blame the tank 100% of the time because I've been doing this for a while, and I'm pretty good at a lot of vehicles, but certainly not all of them, and I'm very bad at more vehicles than I am good at. And I'll never admit that, but I will blame the tank 100% of the time. And right now, I'm saying it's all the Type 96A's fault. Shitty tank. But to be honest, I mean, you're watching the games, you're out here actually watching my replays. I'm probably not the best player when it comes to PvP, so stay tuned for those. If you want a good laugh, I'll be in that. I'll be in the ST1. I may even do the Type 92 or some other vehicle from this tech tree. And yeah, just it'll be good fun. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this much, though. Hey guys, back in Armored Warfare. I don't remember how long it's been since I recorded the first part of this video, so today's the PvP day. Woo! Um, I hate PvP in this game. I don't know if I made that apparent <laughs> the first time that I played the Titan 96A, but I've, I've done some videos to test the microphone and just see how this tank plays and see if I can do like some really great games for you and then I thought oh, I'll just record it while I'm doing it because I'm getting pretty t I'm already tired of playing these Chinese vehicles in PvP and so I'm just gonna do the commentary while I'm playing the game instead of waiting to get a really good game because it's not gonna have it's impossible you can't have a good game in this tank I swear to God I promise I promise you can't do it and if you can do it you know like a player out there is like oh who's shitting on you know fucking Chinese tanks and he's wrong hey you know what good for you and I'm glad you can do oh my god look at this matchmaking oh wow okay this is gonna be another shitty game this is what I'm talking about I hate PvP in this game this will be another shitty game for this tank. You can't pen any of the vehicles on the enemy team. Except for the NM-142, that's it. Even if the 650mm is the pen, it's not going to do anything. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh well, we'll see. Well, I'm going to play it and see how it goes. But I can tell you right now, it's going to be a boring, boring gameplay. Because I'm just going to die. Man, this is gonna suck. Let's just get it over with. I don't want to suicide, though. Don't want to suicide, but I'm thinking about it. Not obviously in real life. <laughs> this game doesn't make me that depressed. I just mean in general. I was just on this map too, and a guy on the enemy team killed himself really early on just because he was a tier 6 seeing tier 8s. And now I feel his pain. I laughed at him, but this is karma. So yeah, I'm just gonna follow the other tier 7s even though there's no way I can compete with them or even support them. But I can keep up with them. Which is all that's important to me. The, hopefully, they're making a pretty aggressive push, so. I hope they don't get shut down early on. I hope this is, like, worth something. Nice, alright, so I'm getting spotting damage, right? Ooh, shit! Sorry about that, I wasn't paying attention. Wow, I don't know how I made that shot, but I'll take it. I'll take the spotting damage and the 667. Alright, not bad. Not a bad opening to this game. I really thought it was going to be way worse. 
Nice, our team's continuing the aggressive push deep into the B line now. Um, enemy team's popping up on that ridge there. The TADU is continuing to push to go after the TDs. That was a mistake. Because he just got <laughs> he just got completely obliterated. <laughs> oh my god. That's awful. Um our light vehicles that are being supported by MBTs over there. They're pushing. Buford spots us, but whatever. Oh no, dude. Okay, no, that's fine. Shit. I'm also cooking, so it's like I'm multitasking. I'm gonna have to just let that let that continue. I don't go AFK. Ah, oh, damn. I don't think any tanks up there had that depression. For some reason, I forgot that Buford has gun depression. They nailed us. Identify target. Get that kill. This is exactly how not to play this tank, I guess. Oh my god, how did that... F why didn't it fire? Great, so... In this tank, you're just gonna get tore apart if you do anything aggressive. Don't be aggressive like I was. No, we got a Type 99. I can't get killed by a Chinese tank. That'll be so bad for my personal dogma. Like I will personally cry. <laughs> I let a Chinese tank kill me. Fuck that shit. Identify target. Awful tank. But good view range on this tank. I mean, I think I discussed that in one of the earlier videos like when I did my review on it great view range like straight up and fucking worthless fucking <sighs> son of a bitch killed by the T90A I would expect nothing le I mean hold on let me turn this fucking shit off fucking Jesus Anyway, I would expect nothing less. I did just kind of sit out there in front of him. But yeah, this... I mean, I think the other video speaks for itself. <laughs> this is going to be the best case scenario in this vehicle. Is... well... Okay. This can be the best case scenario in this vehicle if you're me and you're on Port Storm and, like, you just get stupid. Like I did, but... I just don't... I don't see any good way to play the Type 96. Which is why we're going to the ST1. Which I think is the tank I was playing. I'd have to, I'd have to rewatch this. But if it was, then you know... I'm a huge fan of this tank destroyer. I really love it. I think it's great at its job. It fits the mold of all wheel tank destroyers. Um, you know, good mobility, good penetration, good rate of fire, low alpha damage, but high DPM. Blah, 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 blah. It does all those things really well. It's pretty good. So, this is a terror. What is going on with this matchup? What the heck, man? I shit you not. I mean, five minutes ago, I was in this vehicle and I was top tier seeing tier sixes. How did the. Who. Where did all these tier tens come from? Like, when did they start playing? Alright, so this is a good map. I love Ghostfield. This is actually one of the few good TD maps. Really great. Um, but I don't think this is going to be a good game. If I said that about the last one, was that I sucked, but I think it's going to be a win. Just going to stick with the other tank destroyers and just snipe. I mean, there's nothing else to do. It's pretty simple. Simple task. As long as I don't get spotted, it'll be fine. Do, 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 do. Waiting for this game to start, and here we go. 
I really don't want to be facing any of the vehicles on the enemy team right now. Least of all, those Merkaba 4s. Well, that's not true. In the ST1, I'm really not worried about MBTs. What I'm worried about are those Cornets and the Wilks. Just other TD vehicles that have the potential to absolutely obliterate me at the, you know, one shot. But we're going to try to play smarter than that. Mm hmm Yeah, we're going to play... This is going to be just like the uh, rock hitting thing. Because I hit rocks all the time in this game. I can't drive for shit. This is going to be another one of my tactical lessons. It's going to be another school. A Jaeger 262 lesson for how to play smart. First sign, look at all those trees. There's an enemy vehicle out there. He can't see us because we're in one of the... One of the first places the enemy will shoot at. We're in that position, because it's a position that all TDs play all the time. But that's what you want to do when you play this vehicle. You want to do everything that's predictable to give the enemy as much chance to kind of predict your movements, but then be crafty enough to outsmart them. Now what you're thinking. Where's the outsmarting part? You're just kind of camping. Yeah. That is the outsmarting part. Just sit here and do nothing. See, we know one of the cornets is right there. Should we blind fire? Oh, wait, yeah, fuck yeah, we should. Holy shit. Oh, I'm pretty sure I missed. They're pretty small. Oh, no, maybe I hit them. I'm blind fire again. Man. Alright, bullshit aside. Um, I really hope we hit that cornet. I don't think we did, but that would be great. We, if we could have. I'm gonna try to move up here and see if I can... No, 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 God, no, no, no! Oh my fucking God! Anyway, that's how you play smart. That's <laughs> that's the smartest way to play this tank destroyer. Is have an enemy team not spot for you, and then you know just get obliterated. So yeah, anyway, um. They're all terrible in my opinion, but I'm also a terrible player at them. I don't know. I just prefer the Abrams. Uh, oh, see, told you it was a victory. Look at that. Nice, smooth. But yeah. Um, after this, please, anybody, give me other tanks to play or other tanks to review. I thought this would be fun doing like a, a tech tree showcase. I'm probably not going to do that now. Or just a Chinese tank showcase since that's what the that's what Armor Warfare is focusing on this month. But no, not really. It's not fun. So you know. Just give me other vehicles, please. I beg of you. I beg of you, please. Give me other tanks to play. Or even if you have worse tanks than these. And you want to do it. I'm still doing, or I'm still thinking about doing the most hated vehicle showcase. I did the top three. So. Give me more, please. Just give me anything. I'm so desperate. I am so desperate <laughs> to play other tanks and Chinese MBTs. And I would love to interact with you guys more and love to, you know, get more involved in the armed warfare community in general. So. Anything. Anything you want to see get played. Um. Let me know. Comment. Uh, go to my Instagram. I do polls up there for Armored Warfare sometimes. Although, got a lot of Armored Warfare people on Instagram. Or at least on mine, so... Up to you, but do whatever. Any way you can get in contact with me, I don't care how. Just let me know, because... I love playing this game, and I will put myself out there playing tanks I don't know anything about like I'm doing right now maybe not a good review but eh, you know it's kind of fun at least you know when you watch my videos that if you're playing Armored Warfare you can say I'm doing better than somebody like there's somebody out here who's got a bunch of credits who's got a lot of vehicles but he didn't do that through skill he's just grinding <laughs> he's terrible and so now you know you can you know go, sky's the limit go for anything you want armored warfare and you'll get it because I did and see I can't even drive I can't even 
get around this very simple obstacle that is this building. Yet I've made I made a lot in armored warfare work. So yeah. oh, and we hit this guy because he's reversing, trying to trying to get into a position where I can fight these vehicles, but I don't have any gun depression, so I can't play this ridge line. Now I'm stuck because there's no way I'm going to be able to drive out of here. Is there, is there, is, nope. Oh, yeah, no, there is. Yeah, see, when you watch my videos, you can just go, wow, this guy is so bad. At least I'm doing better than him. Maybe, you know, that's, that's my new angle. Just give me vehicles that you are feeling bad about, that you don't like, that you're, you just can't quite get a handle on. Tell me to play them, and I will play them worse than you every time, guaranteed. That's a Jaeger 262 guarantee. I will be worse than you. And so I want you <laughs> to send me vehicle requests for inspiration to be like, wow, I mean, I'm bad at this tank, but I'm not that bad. I live for that. And I live to help you out. Oh, no, no, no. Man, there's so many. Alright, well, this is just a good old-fashioned battle. Uh, yeah, this is the thing like where it said it's really good at this on paper, but I was like, there's no way it's good at this. And that is just close quarters brawling. And yeah, you can see that it actually is... It's, it's standing up to a lot. It's taking a lot of hits and just bouncing them. What it's not doing is penetrating these vehicles frontally, so that's 650 millimeters of base pen doesn't really go a long way with the basic but it's enough to destroy an ascot light and we took a shot there from the leo 2 revolution these guys are kind of breaking through our line and that's it the t98 shuts us down so again it's it's in my opinion not a brawler you shouldn't brawl in it, but it can take damage to the front, like it said. But, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just bad at this game. <laughs> or at least I'm bad at this tank. I mean, I've had other vehicles that are quite lucrative in PvP. So, that's gonna be it. I don't think I can stomach any more Chinese MBTs for right now, so. Thank you so much for watching, and for, you know, making Armored Warfare a big part of what I do on YouTube now. And send me vehicles. My gar again, my personal guarantee is I will play worse than you and them. So send me requests and I will see what I can play. And anyway, thank you so much for watching this video up to this point if you're still around. And I'll see you next time.